Hello guys, welcome to my video. This is my first video on this YouTube channel and my first ever video in English, so I am super sorry for my accent. In this video I am going to show you how I paint in Procreate. As you can see, I already have my sketch layer, so I am going to lower the opacity of it and create a new layer above it, uh, on which I will do the clean line art. I usually use a textured brush, that's a standard brush uh, that you can find in Procreate. The main thing that I adjust is uh, the streamline parameter of the brush, so that all my lines will be a little bit smoother than they would be if I would draw them just by my hand. <laughs> this is probably one of the reasons why I usually choose to draw digitally instead of using simple paper and pencil. Just because I can't draw very straight lines just with my hand. I guess I just have to admit it. I'm super sorry guys that you will be seeing my head in this video quite often. I tried to cut out all uh, the bits where it was super annoying, so everything you can see is just uh, just a piece of it, only in the corner. I will try my best next time, this was my first ever attempt uh, to film from this angle. <laughs> I thought that everything was okay, because I checked it a few times on my camera, but I think that when I uh, work I forget about everything. <laughs> And yeah, that's what happened. So yeah, you can see I'm doing my line art over the sketch um, because my sketch was already pretty clean. For me it's clean, <laughs> at least. Uh, so I don't have to adjust too many things. By the way, I haven't mentioned what uh, this illustration is about. This is a girl who just got her letter from Hogwarts. Uh, looking at her, I think she's in her 20s already, but I think that it's never late to get your Hogwarts letter, right? So yeah, she uh, got her letter and probably looking at her, um, you can tell if she's super happy because when I was drawing it, I thought, I personally myself don't even know, is it in her dreams or is it uh, reality? Probably she's daydreaming. <laughs> Uh, got her letter, maybe <laughs> that's the case. So yeah, she has uh, her wand prepared in her hand, in her toad, in her pocket. Uh, she has uh, her Hogwarts sweater already on and magical trousers. Uh, they're not that magical right now, but they will be in the future, trust me. So yeah, when I finish the line art, I uh, start to feel um, the flat colors. Uh, of everything, so on separate layers, uh, skin, uh, hair, sweater, everything, just simple flat colors using again uh, a simple uh, brush that you can find already on Procreate. I don't use actually any custom brushes, I don't know, <laughs> I, I think that for now the, there's enough uh, brushes already on Procreate for me. So yeah, I filled all the colors and now I do the H on the sweater, uh, just um, using a textured brush again, so I guess it would be textured. Ah, uh, words. I have to work on my vocabulary, so sorry. <laughs> I prefer my line art uh, to be colored too, so, so I change the blending mode to linear burn. So it uh, kind of darkens uh, all the above. So I pick the color, for example, of the hair, and uh, then I color with this color, again words, so hard, uh, the layer of the line art. I also clean up uh, the layers with the color, so I make sure that uh, where the line 
for example, it should be only over the sweater, it's only over that color and where the line is, there's also uh, the color of the sweater. I hope that makes sense. Uh, sorry, I confused myself. But I really hope that from the video you can understand what I mean. Speaking of the magical pens, uh, here they are. I decided to uh, draw some stars on them again. I'm using a textured brush. I keep saying textured brush, but I use uh, the brush that's called dry ink from the folder inking. And by the way, for the line art, I used the brush called, let me see, uh, Tinderbox. Yes, that's the one. And basically, that's all the brushes I use. Uh, oh no, I lied again. I also use a brush syrup to make uh, the clear colors. Then comes my favorite part, making the blush. Uh, you can see I never have a palette pre-made. I don't know why, maybe because I'm lazy, but then I have to work more every time. Uh, I need to do blush and shadows, etc. And skin tones, that's my problem. I probably will never fix it. But we'll see. So yeah, I usually uh, pick uh, the color of the skin again, and I make uh, a layer, a new layer above this skin. For example, yes, making the blush. It's only about the skin, and I change the blending mode to multiply at this time. So having the color of the skin, I make it a little bit darker and a bit more saturated. I make my brush uh, super transparent so I can layer the color and then I just put the color of the blush where I want it to be on the cheeks and I love a lot making uh, red noses and a bit of redness on the ears and on their palms etc. Then goes my second favorite part that is adding shadows. Again I create new layer above the color layer. Again, I turn it to multiply mode. I simply pick up the color I already have and usually I just use uh, it uh, for the shadow. Sometimes I like to make uh, a little more purple, but in most cases I simply use just the same color. I love doing uh, shadows in the hair, that's uh, how I usually add some little details, like little hairs, uh, and make uh, everything more textured.
Then for some reason I decided not to continue with shading the whole other illustration. I decided to add light to the hair. Well, it's my illustration, I can do whatever I want. So uh, I create another layer above the layer uh, with the, the shadow. And this time it's in the mode Add and I love this mode. And this is my favorite layer mode, to be honest, because uh, I love shiny. And this is the perfect way to make something shiny. <laughs> this is my little secret, probably secret of most artists who <laughs> know how to use layers. I make this layer a little bit transparent and also I try not to push a lot on my brush, otherwise uh, all the lights will be almost white, but I want them to be just a little bit lighter color of the hair <laughs> and not white. So yeah, that's how I do it. And then you can see how I add shadows to everything else. Again, I'm just using a new layer above the color layer in mode multiply, picking the color I already have and painting with it above. This is the whole secret, guys. After I'm done with shading and adding details, I like to uh, look uh, at my illustration as a whole to see if I like everything, I like all, all the colors, so sometimes I'll adjust them, so you can see I did it here with the sweater. Uh, yeah, of course, I need to, uh, to add my signature. And uh, then uh, I decided that it's a magical uh, themed illustration, so I had to add some stars. So I again simply draw them, I think it was just white and maybe some light blue color. Uh, I drew the stars uh, in uh, the mode add, in the layer mode add, and I duplicated this layer and uh, with the layer below this time uh, the main. I just used a Gaussian blur, I hope that's how you pronounce it, and uh, I blurred the layer below, so it added an extra soft shine to the stars. Uh, and the same thing I did to the light of the wand. Or maybe it wasn't me, maybe while I was talking to you she just said Lumos. After I'm happy with how everything went, I save uh, the illustration and then I add it again on the very top layer. And I like to add a little bit of texture to everything, so I add it with a little bit of sharpness. So in the adjustment I um, pick sharpen and I usually uh, add about um, 10 to 15% sharpness. For me it's just enough uh, to add some cute texture and not to ruin everything that I just uh, drew for a few hours, I would say. And I'm done! This is it. This is the final illustration and I love how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching, guys! I hope that you enjoyed what you just saw and if you did, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there will be more, I promise you there will be more and I hope that you decide to stay with me and discover together what's more it's gonna be. Okay, that was super awkward. <laughs> Bye!